Hello and welcome to CTV News Toronto at 5. I'm Zoraida Allman. We begin with the catastrophic crash today at Markham Road in Milner. The driver of a stolen car and four died. Four others were injured. CTV's Mike Walker is live at the scene with the latest. Mike. Well, Zoraida, Pier Regional Police confirmed that the stolen vehicle uh, was stolen from their area. The province's police watchdog has now invoked its mandate and tells us that moments before this horrific and deadly crash, Toronto police attempted to stop the vehicle just north of the scene. Debris is scattered across the road after a deadly six-vehicle crash at the intersection of Markham and Milner that involved a stolen Mercedes G-Wagon that ended up flipped on its roof. Loud bang, like I said, the guy was flying, and all of a sudden you hear bang, boom. Justin Wiley was involved in the collision. He was driving this Toyota Matrix and was stopped at the intersection around 6.30 this morning when he alleges the Mercedes SUV ran a red light. The guy that flipped over ran a red coming south, and the guy was just trying to make a left-hand turn and just creamed him, went flying and hit everybody. Thankfully, I'm okay. Peel police confirmed the Mercedes was stolen during a home invasion in Brampton. Moments before the deadly crash, Toronto police had attempted to stop the Mercedes for speeding. The driver took off and then it ended in this uh, collision. It was uh, at a high rate of speed. The province's police watchdog is now investigating the actions of police. The SIU says the driver of the stolen vehicle died from their injuries in a hospital. There was no pursuit. However, Toronto police service officers did attempt to stop the vehicle and the driver took off. Um, that will be a key part of what the SIU will be investigating. Toronto Fire say they had to extricate three people from their vehicles. The SIU says the driver of this minivan is also in critical condition in hospital. Two others were treated for minor injuries in hospital. I was just coming northbound on Markham Road and all I saw is smoke in the air and all the cars just stopped. It's uh, pretty bad. Yeah, very bad. I've never seen in my life like that. I'm really scared what might have happened to the people inside the car, who it and whatnot. Yeah. I'm worried and I hope all is well. Markham Road is closed between Shepherd and Highway 401, as well as the 401 westbound ramp to Markham Road, as two investigations, one by police and the other by the SIU, are now underway. Now, the SIU has not released the identity of the driver who died. Uh, investigators with Toronto Police and the SIU remain on scene at this hour. No word yet when roads here will reopen. Reporting live, I'm Mike Walker. Sarita, back to you. Thank you, Mike.